pub's still open, guys. Don't worry about it. So yeah, I basically went for Endless Mode 100 Days, which will be the last trophy to Platinum the game. And basically after like 950, everything pretty much stays the same. The temperature doesn't go any lower really than 120 degrees, and everything's just about fine. Uh, at this point, I've all but won. It's just waiting out the days, and I've got to wait a bit longer and go through a few more cycles, but nothing really changes. The biggest po problem at the moment is hope. Hope is everything. Uh, as soon as the storm comes, hope drops massively, massively, all the way to nothingness. Uh, I went for order this time, and I needed to have patrols and not lose any, um, uh, not skip, lose any uh, patrols, sort of like, there's a, a, a one point an indignant woman that comes up and you can um, punish her, you can uh, skip that area which will lose some of the uh, hope on patrols, and, or you could just uh, reprimand the guards, and I chose to, I think I chose to punish her, just so that I would keep the hope coming in. Um, I had to go a little totalitarian state um, and get, yeah, the propaganda center because I needed that hope and that's just a bit more of a hope boost. I was very unsure whether if I, um, if I basically abused the propaganda center it would create social problems so I didn't at first but I got more bold as time went on. I didn't like leaving it it to chance because if I triggered another event where I'd need to regain hope then I'd have to pass harsher laws in order to get hope back in so I just decided to um, basically just keep everything as high up as possible and just start to abuse a bit the propaganda a little bit more than I was before and then yeah at this point scouts go out and just grab anything that I need mainly at this point just looking uh, just for, in case there is anything, hope will rise if they find people, and I've definitely got enough shelter for a few more people, but I don't want to overdo it with people because, well, you know, too many people means too much food, which means more people going out, etc, etc. Uh, I just basically need to go to 100 days. Um, and I'm also looking for steam cores, because that's the only place you're going to get steam cores out there. The more steam cores I get, the more um, uh, machines that I can build, and the more of those that I can get out, the less, basically, I have to let my people do. They can just stay at home forever and uh, have the machines do everything for them, which is great. Um, so yeah, the automations is what I meant, automations. So even, like, I could have put automations in hospitals if I found more steam cores. I never actually found that many. But uh, yeah, I just throw these people in there here to give them something to do so that they're not resting on the laurels too much. And I can just increase the food even more. Um, food wasn't an issue this playthrough. I basically very quickly I started off with um, extended shifts uh, 24 hour shifts uh, emergency shifts uh, then I went for um, extended shifts then I went for um, radical treatment to take care of the sick overcrowding and then I went for uh, sawdust to the food uh, at that point my people were pretty much starving I didn't want them to eat raw food but I managed to get them to the point where they t didn't eat any raw food and I could sign the sawdust law and then feed them on sawdust and they've pretty much been eating sawdust until I think it was night until like night 40, 50 um, they were eating sawdust and that fills them up and yes it does create some sick but the trade off is worth it for soup it really isn't you've got to sign so much for soup so, um, yeah, I was happy with that. Then I went for uh, child labor because I needed that extra workforce. And basically, I sent my scouts out to find people. At first, they weren't looking for steam cores. They were looking for people. 
and I needed as many people brought to the city as possible. I found two groups before the first storm, which was perfect, and then it's just staying ahead, uh, keeping the generator go, uh, just uh, research stage two on the generator so that uh, that increases a bit, um, and uh, keeping the houses, upgrade all the tents to bunk houses so that they're warm in the storm and uh, I don't think there was much else and just heaters, heaters was a big part of it like um, f uh, steam hubs were there and they're useful for the sections but heaters is what I leaned on heavily to uh, keep out the cold um, even to the point where um, I upgraded the heaters before I upgraded the generator. I only had one small setback and it wasn't huge. I was able to uh, set myself back um, to seven days ago where I needed just to uh, speed through a heater um, a ruling because it was right before uh, technology, right before the storm. So I needed that those heaters... Uh, as soon as possible so I I loaded up a couple of days ago just to um, just to reset the clock on it, time a bit and to get the correct research done in order and that was it um, yeah it was it was tough it was tough this but after day 50 you're just at this point I'm just doing the cycles just going over and over again um, sending out patrols um, using the propaganda and just keeping hope up but as you can see I've got no discontent no one's unhappy really food is being processed food is being eaten food is good everything is happy everyone's fine no one's really a problem and the sick are being cared for it's it's really everything you want it's your bread and butter at this point um, but yeah, those those first few weeks, a little bit difficult, but I wouldn't say impossible. Um, you just got to make sure things are done in the right order. What else did I, I have done? Like, uh, uh, research the pub, obviously. Um, didn't go for many harsh laws. Organ transplants, that was a big one. Uh, which meant snow pit. Uh, that was probably the harshest, but as long as you stay on top of everything... It's pretty much okay. So yeah, this is uh, the final few cycles and you get to watch me finish it. Thanks for listening. Okay, so at this point, it's nearly a done deal. All that's cold is these uh, gardens that I created for my people up here. And, you know, they don't need to go there. And even if they do, I have over 100... Well, I have 100 pros prosthetics waiting for them. Um... Coal isn't an issue anymore. Wood is not an issue anymore. Even, <laughs> even the steel is not really an issue anymore. Um, the only thing I would say is like hope is being a bit of an issue, but you just got to keep on with the patrols. Just every time it refreshes, just hit that and do a lot more proper back propaganda bulletins and I didn't really see a problem with hitting that after a while I was scared in the past I was afraid it might trigger an event it didn't and when it didn't I was uh, I was relieved and I was happy I got a little bit more uh, confident with it and eventually I just realized it's not triggering an event at all so it's just keeping up with that and making sure on the second freeze that you hit the overdrive and you've got enough um, overdrive in there to uh, to carry you through basically I got loads of food I got loads of just about everything really I, I don't really need anything now but just throwing these people in here the only thing I would say is uh, as you can see I had like 80 before in in uh, my infirmaries I built a few more when I found some uh, some steam hubs basically and uh, just went from there but uh, it's just a question of as soon as you go up get the scouts out but at this point it's pretty much a done deal but I'm just gonna let them do their own thing as usual and uh, yeah everything's everything's on course everything's as it should be storm on the horizon yeah
bye bye hope increase it a little bit on the way down there but it's still gonna fall Come, lads. We must work harder. faster travel destination visited so it will get them there a bit quicker Which is something I never knew. If you've been there before, you'll go back there quicker again. It's like, I know where I'm going. I've been there before, so I'll uh, get there twice as quick. Yep, take it. Heading back. And let's build our large garden. I want it. now street lamp do 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 street lamp right. day 99 of this venture it's nearly there and this will be it this will platinum the game for me I can't believe it's taken this long but once once I got to day 50 it was pretty much game over because it was just a rep repetition of this over and over and over again it was just keep tra track of the hope keep track of uh, the patrols and just keep them going and going and going and just uh, rinse and repeat all the way <laughs> Stay on level 4, don't have to have all the rings, as long as you've got the steam hubs it's fine. I just upgraded everything because why not. Um, and yeah, and that was it basically, it was just uh, keep going on the first storm. YES! Mother of God, yes! I am the captain! Yes! Platinum the game. Platinumed Frostpunk. I have to do the expansion packs, but the main game, that is plat. It's a nice one to uh, to start the year off with. Because that one's been on, on for a while. 100 days on uh, on extreme endurance mode. So yeah, when you get to the first storm, you just do it for, uh, you have full power on. Don't forget to uh, take people out of these areas so they don't freeze, because they're idiots, they'll go there anyway, as I discovered to my cost. And uh, yeah, that's it, basically. these guys back in wood, not that I need them to. Yeah, garden's gonna be freezing, whatever. And then uh, when we get to the second day where that temperature dips again, just turn on the uh, overdrive. Um, if, you, if you haven't upgraded the overdrive, then it's gonna be a problem because you're gonna get very close to the red so I'd say get the shielding as quickly as possible when you start to see like two two storms coming because otherwise it gets just very um, very close and you've got to really time it and you can't do like I'm doing and fast forward it unless you're doing a speed run or something but um, yeah it's just uh, it's just a question of keeping everything going and 
and uh, putting the putting the temperature up as soon as you can. And then next uh, day, temperature dips to minus 120, and you got this. You got the boost on already, so that's not gonna be a problem. Everyone's gonna have a chilly house, but it's not gonna be cold or freeze anything like that. Just keep on with the hope. Just keep br bringing hope back. Like I say, overdrive on this. At this time, it's just gonna build up a little bit, but not indefinitely to the point where it will explode. Just keep going all the way through the day, all the way through the night. Night is most important. I would say always try and keep your overdrive on overnight unless you know you have enough infirmaries or medical tents and personnel to deal with it all because otherwise you're gonna have a lot of a lot of sick built up over time. I think I've got enough here. Uh, I did up my uh, infirmaries. Overcrowding is on so they can uh, deal with the stragglers. Just wait until uh, 8 and then it's back. We've survived the storm. There it is. And then it's another 8 days until the next storm. And that gives you time to prepare. Just send out your scouts. And uh, grab your materials. Mainly steam cores at this point. But that's it. You know. There's nothing else to say. We're done. I am. I am. Platinum. Destroyer of service. Apparently. I bet it's late now. It's probably quite late in the night, but it was worth it because now we are done. <sighs> Thanks for watching. That was that was a long time coming, but once I got to night 50, it was pretty much over. It's good. It's a good feeling. Take care. See you next time.